Learn English Guru presents English Adjectives, Lesson 23, Level A, 2, Thank you for joining me today. Our lesson objectives are, to provide examples of sentences using adjectives. To define the meaning of adjective. To compare two or more objects with different degrees of comparison. To understand the order of adjectives in sentences. No one actually knows why, or when, this became an English rule but, especially in writing, the order does matter. Finally, you should understand a little more about the adjectives that come after linking or stative verbs. Before we start, try this. Pause the video. Use only one word to describe the things you see in the box. Do not use a noun, its name, but use a word to describe it. Here are some examples. A white airplane. A sweet pie. A big pumpkin. Some hot tea. A pretty flower. A pink bouquet. A cute birdhouse. Some colorful eggs. Did you say the same word? Probably not, which partly explains why adjectives are so important. What are adjectives? An adjective is a word that describes a noun in greater detail. It modifies or describes a noun or pronoun. An adjective describes the kind, quantity, or amount of something. The flowers are beautiful. The word beautiful describes flowers. Rosa Maria has two gardens. The adjective to quantifies or describes the noun gardens. Different people imagine different things in their mind. We use adjectives so everyone can imagine what we are talking about. If I say pumpkin, people might have a different image in their mind. If I say, I bought a scary pumpkin, you might have a similar image but include a scary face. But if I say I bought a big, purple, neon pumpkin, it is scary. The image starts to take shape into the actual picture. There are also different forms of adjectives. The base form is called positive adjective. The higher degree of comparing two objects is called a comparative adjective. And the highest degree of an adjective when comparing three or more objects is called superlative. Comparative adjectives add er to the end of most adjectives. This t is sweeter than that t. If the adjective has more than three syllables, sounds, we use more before the adjective. This book is more interesting than those books. Notice that interesting has four sounds. In, ter, est ing. Superlative adjectives add the before the adjective and est to the end of most adjectives. This t is the sweetest in the world. If the adjective has more than three syllables, sounds, we use the most before the adjective. This book is the most interesting in the world. Try this. Pause the video and try to add comparative and superlative adjectives based on this lesson. Descriptive adjectives are the most common types of adjectives. This kind of adjective tells something about a noun by describing a quality or trait like appearance, color, or shape. These traits are categories. Try this. Pause the video and try to think of 5 to 10 words that describe this basket based on size, color, shape, materials used, age, or quantity. Did you use woven, wicker, rectangular, tan, picnic, to describe the basket? These descriptive adjectives can be used, as a list, in a sentence to give a clearer image of the object. I can say I have two books and you might get a picture in your head of any books you have seen lately. But if I say, I have two interesting, old, rectangular, red, human skin books, that are from ancient times. You may have a completely different visual in your mind and may have an emotional response to my use of adjectives. The order of adjectives is important in English grammar. This is a list of the adjective categories in their proper order. 
Even if you do not use every category, you must follow the correct order. Pause the video and try to put some additional information into the chart to make some sentences. Many higher level English exams, check your understanding of adjectives by asking you to put adjectives in the correct order. Many native English speakers often misuse adjective category order when speaking, but it will make you sound more like a native speaker if you get it right. For an exam, you can use this acronym to remember the order. This acronym uses the first letter of each word to represent the first letter of the category placement, then puts the words into an easily remembered sentence. I asked my non-native English speaking husband how he would describe a jar that I held up. He said, it's a small square, clear, glass jar. Why? I explained this lesson to him, but then I asked him how he learned the order of adjectives, since he got the order correct. He said, I just listened to others, and watched a lot of English movies. As a native English speaker, I too listened to others, and watched TV, to learn the order of adjectives as a child. It's the easiest way, but it's also good to know the order in the acronym, so you can check yourself when writing. One last thing about the order of adjectives. Grammar also has rules about when to use commas in a list of adjectives. If adjective categories are different in a sentence, you use a comma in between each of the category adjectives in the list. However, you do not put a comma immediately before the noun or pronoun. The gardener works in the big comma green comma square garden. Note there is no comma after square. And secondly, if you have adjectives from the same category, they do not use any commas. They live in a comfortable luxurious home. Comfortable and luxurious come from the same qualifier category. We said in this lesson that adjectives come before nouns or pronouns, but adjectives can follow verbs. However, the verb must be a stative or linking verb, a be verb. In the sentence, I run every day, run as an action verb. We do not use adjectives after action verbs. But in the sentence, I like running. Like is a stative verb with a gerund, another verb with ing. I can change the stative verb to the be verb, am, and create the sentence, I am athletic. Athletic describes me, a pronoun. So in this sentence the adjective comes after the be verb am. Thank you for visiting the Learn English Classroom. Please like and subscribe to our channel. So you don't miss the next lesson.